setup position is going to be identical. We're laying down on our stomach, lower bodies relaxed, restroom version of pelvis, flat lumbar, flat thoracic, chin tucked in, crown of the way, eyes looking down between our thighs to put the dermatter under tension, make a diamond with your hands. And for this one, we want to go into lateral flexion. So if we're training the right iliocostalis, Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with TV Fork, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to be your own therapist by demonstrating the top five strengthening exercises for posture correction. More specifically, I'm gonna be teaching you how to correct double scoliosis. And before I get on with the exercises, I first want to explain what exactly double scoliosis is and why exactly you should care. And in order to do that, I'm gonna need the help of my good friend, Johnny Bone. So Johnny, get over here and show your non-scoliotic spine to the camera. Scoliosis is when you develop a lateral flexion of the trunk, and double scoliosis is when you develop two lateral flexions in the trunk. And there are many ways in which it can present, but two of the most common ways are going to be an S-shaped curve and a reverse S-shaped curve. With regard to the S-shaped curve, what you're going to typically see is a C-shaped curve in the thoracic spine and then a reverse C-shaped curve in the lumbar spine. So you're going to get that S-shape. And then a reverse S is going to be the opposite. So you're going to develop a reverse C in the thoracic spine and then a C-shaped curve in the lumbar spine. And with regard to scoliosis, you're going to have a convex and concave side to the scoliosis. The convex side, that is going to be where the muscles are going to be very lengthened and taut. And then the concave side is where the muscles are going to be very, very short and tight. And with regard to an S-shaped curve, the, in the thoracic spine, the C-shape, the muscles on the left, that is going to be the convex side. So that's going to be where they're going to be lengthened and taut. And then on the right side, that is where they're going to be very, very short and tight. And then in a reverse C-shaped curve, it's going to be the opposite. So in a reverse C, C, the muscles on the right are going to be the convex side, and then the muscles on the left are going to be the concave. And then in the lumbar spine, with an S-shaped scoliosis, the muscles on the right are going to be the convex side because that is where they're going to be lengthened and the muscles on the left are going to be the concave side and then the opposite is going to be true for a reverse s with the reverse s what's going to happen is you are going to get the convex side on the left and the concave side is going to be on the right and if you don't address it it can lead to a whole host of issues such as low back pain hip pain knee pain ankle pain and foot pain and also shoulder and neck pain so you would want to address it immediately and one of the ways in which we could address it would be to do some strengthening exercises for the muscles that are responsible for laterally flexing the trunk and specifically we would want to pay a little bit extra attention to the muscles that are responsible for laterally flexing the trunk specifically on the convex side because that's going to be the length inside we would want to do a little bit of extra work and pay extra attention to that area because we would want to shorten those muscles and that's exactly what we're going to be doing for you guys today so without further ado here are the top five strengthening exercises for posture correction to correct a double scoliosis with the exception of the first exercise, which is going to be a bilateral exercise, meaning you're training both right and left at the same time, all of the remainder of their exercises are going to be unilateral, meaning you're going to be performing one set on the right and then another three on the left, or depending on the type of scoliosis that you have, it could be reversed. But anyway, the first strengthening exercise for posture correction to correct a double scoliosis or an S-shaped scoliosis is going to be for the longissimus muscle. And for the longissimus muscle, I'm going to be taking you through two different variations. This first one is going to be for the cephalic fibers, meaning the fibers close to the thoracic spine and also the cervical spine. For it, we're going to be in a prone position, meaning you're laying down on your stomach. The lower body is going to be relaxed. We got retroversion of pelvis, flat lumbar, flat thoracic, chin tucked in, crown head away, eyes looking down between our thighs to put the dura mater under tension. With our hands, we're going to make a diamond shape and we're going to place our head on top. To target the cephalic fibers, we want to make sure that our spine is nice and straight. And all we're going to do is go into thoracic extension. And this is the strengthening exercise for the longissimus muscle and more specifically the cephalic fibers. And then if we want to target the caudal fibers, we're going to go into lumbar extension. So it's pretty much the exact same thing. This is the strengthening exercise for the longissimus muscle and more specifically the caudal fibers. Next, the second strengthening exercise for posture correction to correct the double scoliosis is going to be for the iliocostalis muscle. And once again, I'm going to be taking you through two different variations. This first one is going to be for the cephalic fibers, meaning the fibers closer to the thoracic spine and cervical spine. Setup position is going to be identical. We're laying down on our stomach, lower bodies relaxed, restroom version of pelvis, flat lumbar, flat thoracic, chin tucked in, crown of the way, eyes looking down between our thighs to put the dermat under tension, make a diamond with your hands. And for this one, we we want to go into lateral flexion. So if we're training the right iliocostalis muscle, we're going to do a side bend to the right. And this is the strengthening exercise for the iliocostalis muscle, specifically the cephalic fibers. And then if we want to target the caudal fibers, meaning the fibers closer to the lumbar spine and the pelvis, we're going to go into lumbar extension and then go into lumbar lateral flexion. So we're going to bring our feet toward the right if we want to train the right iliocostalis. But this is the strengthening exercise for the iliocostalis muscle and more specifically the caudal fibers. Next, 
The third strengthening exercise for posture correction to correct a double scoliosis is going to be for the external oblique. And more specifically, we're going to be targeting the supra umbilical fibers, meaning the fibers above the umbilicus for it. We're going to go ahead and get into a supine position, meaning you're laying down on your back. You want to flex your knees to 90 degrees and plant your feet firmly on the floor. We're going to maintain retroversion of pelvis, flat lumbar, flat thoracic, chin tucked in, crown the head away, eyes looking down between your thighs to put the dermatome under tension. With the contralateral arm, so the arm opposite to the side that we're stretching, we're going to go ahead and cup it over our shoulder with the ipsilateral arm we're going to go into maximum extension of elbow and wrist maximum external rotation of shoulder project the palm on the outside of the thigh and then for this one we're going to start with slight trunk flexion and then what we want to do is we are going to do positive torsion what i mean by that we're doing a combination of flexion and rotation so we're bringing the right palm we're going to project it and one important thing worth noting is we want to cross the midline with this exercise but this is the strengthening exercise for the uh, for the external oblique muscle and more specifically the supra umbilical fibers next the fourth strengthening exercise for posture correction to correct a double scoliosis is going to be for the psoas major and more specifically we are going to be targeting the postural lateral fibers and even more specifically the proximal portion of the proximal lateral fibers for this one what we want to do is go ahead and get into a side uh, into a supine position and you're laying down on your back and for this exercise everything in the lower half is going to be relaxed we're going to maintain retroversion of pelvis flat lumbar flat thoracic chin tucked in crown and head away eyes looking down between our thighs to put the dura mater under tension with the arms you can place them at the level of the glenohumeral angle and then for this exercise right over here we want to go into ipsilateral side bend so we're going to flex toward the side we're stretching if we're straining our right so as major what we want to do is bend toward the right and then from here all we want to do while maintaining that lateral flexion we're going to go into hip flexion but this is the strengthening exercise for the psoas major and more specifically the postural lateral fibers and even more specifically we are targeting the proximal portion of the postural lateral fibers and last the fifth and final strengthening exercise for posture correction to correct a double scoliosis is going to be for the quadratus lumborum muscle and more specifically we are going to be targeting the iliolumbar fibers for this exercise, we want to go ahead and take the contralateral leg, so the leg opposite to the side that we're strengthening, and we want to prop it up on some type of elevated surface. Then with the contralateral hand, we're going to use that for stabilization. We want to go ahead and stand up. We're going to go into abduction of the femur by placing our leg out to the side. And then in terms of the principle of action, what we want to do is an ipsilateral hip hike. So we're going to take the same side pelvis, and we're going to raise it toward the rib cage. And this is the strengthening exercise for the quadratus lumbar muscle, more specifically, the iliolumbar fibers. And there you have it. Those were the top five strengthening exercises for posture correction to correct a double scoliosis. If you have double scoliosis or an S-shaped scoliosis, or if you have issues with regard to neck pain, shoulder pain, mid-back pain, low back pain, hip pain, knee pain, ankle pain, foot pain, go ahead and give those exercises a try. And if you have given them a try, go ahead and drop your comments down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys thought. In terms of the actual programming for the strengthening exercises, what you would want to do is on the convex side, you want to do three sets of 50 repetitions, and that's five zero, not one five. The reason we're going so high with the repetitions is because we're trying to elicit a postural change. Whenever we're trying to elicit a postural change, one of the most important things is gonna be accumulating enough time under tension. And if we only do the typical eight to 12 bodybuilding repetition rep range, we're not gonna be able to accumulate that time under tension. So three sets of 50 repetitions on the convex side. And then on the concave side, we're still gonna to wanna to strengthen it, but we're not gonna to wanna to do quite as much work because the muscles on that side are gonna be very, very short and tight. So on the concave side, depending on the severity of the scoliosis, what we would wanna do is anywhere from one to two sets of 50 repetitions. If it's a very very mild scoliosis you can go ahead and do two sets of 50 repetitions if it's very very severe then you wouldn't want to do as much work so you're only going to do one set of 50 repetitions but that's pretty much it in terms of the strengthening exercises and then in a couple days on saturday at 10 o'clock a.m i'm going to be taking you through the top five myofascial stretching exercises for posture correction to correct the double scoliosis and those exercises are going to be a terrific complement to the strengthening exercises that we just did today so be out on the lookout for that this saturday at 10 o'clock a.m but that's pretty much it for today's video if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to smash that like button so know to keep making these types of videos in the future and if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as i will be uploading new videos every single day that's it for today's video thanks for tuning in and i will see you again tomorrow